Whenever you're ready. Okay. How do you do? We're about to unfold the story of... No, the Frankenstein. My son, would you destroy that which I, your father, dedicated his life to creating? What if it had another brain? Who's Bane? Your brain. Bollard! What good is a brain without eyes to see? I warned you that you might regret this action. We've, we've warned you? You've been warned. Again. <laughs> Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I'm Bill Evenson. You know, we warn these people week after week after I know, week. A lot they of, still we keep should coming back. Really, my why even warn them at this point? Uh, yeah. I just let them walk right off the cliff like lemmings. All right. Uh, and I'm Tom Lang, and you join us for minute 13 of Universal's 1942 film, All New Thrills, The Ghost of Frankenstein. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Birthdays, I couldn't find any, but yesterday was Evelyn Anchor. Birthday. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, happy birthday. Belated, belated birthday. Posthumous. Actually, uh, if you're a Patreon, you're listening to this on Evelyn Anker's birthday. Am I saying it right? Is it Evelyn? Evelyn I think it's Evelyn Anker's. Anker's? Okay. The dumbass American kids continue to taunt Chloe Steen. Yes. Yeah, how do you like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You little Brooklyn kids in uh, in this area. And it's, it's great because of how much she's affected by it. Especially even uh, in, uh, compared to the script again. In yeah. the script, she's bald. She's Balling her head off when the yeah. when the ball gets kicked on yep. the roof. Yeah, here she's she's full on Wednesday Adams. I think yeah, she's great. She's absolutely, I yeah. think she's great. Yes. Yeah, they're being bullies until the monster approaches, then they run away like Republicans confronted by the truth. Oh, <laughs> nice. And, yep. Yep. Uh, uh, he gets she, hit in the in the script. He gets hit by a rock. Yeah, a kid throws point. a rock at him. Like, yeah. What the fuck is that? For? Yeah, that's that amazing. Point, pointless. And then it, it, funny too. I had to read it a couple of times in the script. It says uh, he's got a cut, cut on his head from, from where the from where the rock, rock hit him, him, and he wipes it off. Yeah. Because when I first read it, I'm thinking well, it's fake, so he just wipes just it right wipes off. Right. But yeah. I guess he means he wiped. It doesn't matter. Wipes the blood off his face. I like. So, but in the in the in the movie, you see this. She turns and looks back at the monster before the boys run away. Mm-hmm. So she gets a full on look at the monster, mm-hmm. and her reaction to that is to turn around and see and sort of look at uh, at the boys running right away. away. Like, huh? Wonder what that's all about. <laughs> and this lazily takes three or four steps and then stands there and turns back. Oh, the monster! You're coming over to talk to me. Like she's completely unaffected by yeah, any of this. I think it's great. I mean. It's it's, it's like little Maria. Yeah, true. You know? Yeah, um, she's got, she comes to it with the same attitude. Hi. Hi. I'm, who are you? Yeah. Can I be your friend? Right. Uh, we are talking about Miss Janet Ann Gallo. Yes. Uh, she was born July 21st, 1937 in San Jose, California. And died like two years yeah, ago. Yeah, November 14th of 2020, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So th- could have spoken to her yeah. prior, but never thought of you it. You can see her on YouTube if you're. Yeah, if you were. yeah, yeah. She is great. She only has six credits. Yeah, from forty-two to forty-six. Uh, the only one of uh, other than this, this was her first film. She's in an Abbott and Costello film called It Ain't Hay. Okay. The others were programmers that I didn't know. Never heard of. Yeah. She looked at a career in Hollywood the way she looked at those boys. She just kind of took a few steps towards it and just meandered off and did something else. Yep. Uh, She spoke very fondly of Lon Chaney. Well, that's uh, right. They had a big... Whom she said uh, would buy all the children ice cream Hmm. and would, would sit her on his knee between takes and just chat that's really Uh, interesting there's there's of course the famous because we trash him so much and we hear so much kind of crap about him yeah especially in this film it's nice to hear some good things Mm -hmm. about him because i like him i i genuinely like lon cheney jr he's often out of his element donnie but he is still likable Mm -hmm. and i think he gives some gravitas to things that otherwise wouldn't have it okay Uh, i really like his count dracula in in son of dracula yeah like christopher lee he's at a a fierce physicality about him. Yeah. That Lugosi is just sort of this oily weirdo that <laughs> pops up and makes mistakes. You, you know, I'll never be able to get to that. I, I, all I can say is that I understand what you're saying, but I've, I've, I think I said it in episode zero, Lugosi lived under my bed when I was a kid. Yeah, to that's... me, he's very he's very creepy, specifically in Dracula, too. There's, It's not as often, it's not often that he is as effective to me just from his presence. Like, we've talked about White Zombie. He's yeah. not doing anything there. 
right. but he's the movie would completely would disappear fail without, without him. him. Yeah. yeah, I agree with White Zombie, but yeah, Dracula he's never done anything for me. Yeah, uh, I know. Just, I, I think I, he's I hear you. he's just a goonie bird that <laughs> people are like, yeah, okay, well, whatever, dude. And that's but they say they even say that in the film. Yeah. So like, I yeah. don't know. But um, Dude, no one is particularly afraid of him. He doesn't do anything particularly threatening to anybody. Um, uh, he's he waves his hand in the air. There's and someone who is who's desperately afraid of him. His name's Renfield. Well, okay, but again, he doesn't anything do anything to him that we see to engender that fear. It's a different type of fear uh, that maybe doesn't age well, but the fear that an audience would bring to it, I think, is when he's hypnotizing these people to let them inside their house. So he does the hypnosis on them, and even that, of course, they're not afraid because they're hypnotized. Yeah, but even that's fucked up because they try to do the, the the baby spots in his eyes, and they're not even on his eyes. Yeah, that's, that's a good. Point. One's on his forehead and one's on his cheek. <laughs> I just it's assume that's because the the person who did the, was doing the lighting was so hypnotized. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was so that was so mesmerized by this non-performance that there you go. All right, enough Lugosi bashing. Jeez. Yeah, are, are you happy, Doc? Doc. Well, oh, he, Doc he asked Island. that question. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, there was, of course, a famous anecdote that uh, her mother died. I believe it was 1946. Okay. Which could be why she stopped acting that same year. I don't know that. I but, thought about that, sure. But Cheney offered to adopt her and her brother, and the father wisely said no. Yeah, yeah. So how about no? How about not doing that? Yeah, yeah. that would be weird. Uh, she also referred to him as a gentle giant, which I like. Nice. Yeah. Because he's a giant. He's a giant. We didn't even talk about the giant. Or is that in this? This in the, it comes coming up. Coming up. It's coming up. Uh, there's some fun camera work here. Yeah, I like a shot it. that neither Whale nor V Lee ever did. Never did. Yeah. Well, she walks up to him and just said simply hello. And there's yeah, really nice up angle on Cheney emphasizing the height. Yep. And, and then the, a similar shot down similar shot over down his shoulder he, yeah. to her emphasizing her littleness. Yeah. When she, then she asks, "Are you a giant?" As it's looking down on her from mm-hmm. the, the down angle. I Actually, now that I think about it, this is a, one of those times where you don't need it because he clearly is so much taller than her. Right, you could use I, this kind of camera work in, like you say, in Sun. Sun could make, have could make, have really benefited you know, benefited from it. But I think it it's still effective. here. It really is effective though because he is towering over her and could be perceived as menacing, and she's not menaced in the slightest. Yes, that's true. You Good know, point. She 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 grew up to be Morticia. This yeah. girl, and he picks her up like. It almost looks like he's picking her up by her elbows. Uh, oh, he must yeah. be. He yeah, must yeah, have her by the I waist. I think he's got her by the waist. Because she doesn't look like she's in any pain <laughs> no, or anything. No, no. And, he, and, it's, and it, she effortlessly ends well, up it, sort of it, in his arms. When arm. he first leans down, it, it, it gives the impression, you know, what is he going to do? Is yeah. he going to do something yeah. bad? Is something bad going to happen like it did in 31? Yeah. And not at all. He's yeah. learned from his mistakes, clearly. I guess. And, uh, you know, see. he had a good relationship with uh, Peter, Peter, too. So That's true. He picks her up face to face, and she just kind of looks him over, like, "Hey, you know." Oh, Look. well, one thing we didn't mention is before he picks her up, before the up angle, she walks up and examines his hand. That's true. We didn't and, mention and that either. The, I was gonna, the there's another thing we didn't mention. No, but uh, the, the fact around. that she says, "Are you a giant?" Yeah, which is well, a throwback we did, we to did Peter. Mention that. Well, that's all we said, though. Yeah. But it's, yeah. a, it's a throwback to Peter, although technically he never called him a giant. No, but he you're tried right. to. You're like, right. Six or eight times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then yes, uh, pulls her up to be face to face, face to face, him. and she just kind of looks at him like. Oh, that, 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 I'm sorry. You had also mentioned the hand, so the it's hand. not all all of one thing. She she holds, holds his, his hand, hand and looks, and at, looks the at the scars scar. and, and presumably the green skin. All of this, the goose girl, her, nobody ever in any of these movies mentioned. There's a big green guy. Yeah, no, it's that's never true. once never mentioned. Comes up. So he's he's very pale. <laughs> very pale. That's all yes. I'm gonna say. I agree. Uh, but gray, so presumably she's freaked out by that too. I mean, you, we're assuming this, I think, right? That he's not like tan. No, he's just a pale dead flesh. Yeah. Kind of like, I mean, yeah. that's what I assume. That I'm pointing to the... Well, there's a bunch behind you too. There's one at least, yeah, I guess. The busts over there where I've painted them sort of a very... Very pale. pale, yes. Um, and that's what I assume because I was asked once, well, okay, you think it's not green. Had the films been shot in color, what color do you think he would have been? And I said a very pale flesh sort of tone. Sort of gray, okay. Caucasian flesh tone. Caucasian, yeah, as opposed to Karloff, who was a bit of a... Uh, he had some Indian blood Indian in him. Indian blood in him. All right. Yeah, you watch, you see the, the photos of the makeup being applied, and it is like black and white. His skin tone versus the makeup yeah. is, is very pronounced. Yeah, yeah. 
And that's well, you're making a black and white movie. You gotta you mm. gotta pull out all the stops yeah. and and maybe exaggerate whatever. Yeah, reach down, picks her up, and uh, within seconds of meeting, I wrote within seconds of meeting the monster, she's a million times better than Peter. No annoying <laughs> catchphrase or yeah. mumble mouth. <laughs> Intrigued but not disgusted by the scars. Yep. And then gets a good look at his face. What, twelve inches, eighteen yeah, inches away, maybe that, max. Yeah. And first thing out of her mouth, can you get my can you ball? Get my ball. This guy those, seems great. Those assholes. Maybe he can help me yeah. get my ball. Those assholes kicked it up there. Can you help me get that? Yeah. Despite no reaction from Cheney, this is a very charming moment yeah that's true um i think it would have played better with well okay every scene would have played better with karloff there's no question about that but i think he would but have in brought, particular this, co- this, actually, this the, particular i'll mention the one scene that i think works better with cheney when okay we get there we All got right. a, we got another you know a summer okay. know, maybe a winter to get through before we get to it okay uh but this this is obviously not i mean we everyone when 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 you see karloff in the first film come out of the bushes to say hello to maria he's he looks like a, a very child has a very childish very childlike. D- like childlike demeanor about yeah. him a very, very innocent look on his yeah. face and Cheney's just got nothing he's he's like he's been told please do not move do your not, face yeah. and he's You're completely immobilized yeah. yeah as if to accent that accentuate that he looks up by see so you've ever seen the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman movies at least I, the first I, I couple I have seen the first one or no no actually what am I saying I'm stupid it's, Michael the, Keaton. it's the Tim Burton one where his the, he, he the can't man, turn his he head. can't turn his head correctly. Yeah, he's yeah. I think look. when he goes to look up, he has to lean way back. Yeah, and stuff. I, I like and he that. He has to turn around to look. I, I like that. Well, th- that's in, fine. In, but but it, the, it, it doesn't make any sense here. Here, it looks like he's maybe doing that partly because he's afraid his, ba- yeah, uh, his head's going to fall apart, but also <laughs> because he's got those thick uh, uh, eyela- uh, eyelids, eyelids on him. Yeah. And Karloff had those, but they would seemed more real. With with Cheney, it seems like they well, slapped him on and. The whole makeup does, but I think it's also they were Karloff's idea to begin with. Okay, and I think he worked with them. Yeah, and Cheney just uses them here as a hindrance yeah. rather than a, than I a gotta, tool. I got to lean way and back gotta, to be able to look yeah. up on the roof. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I mean it all goes down to, and this is an argument that's been for years: is was he directed to be like this, or did he just not give a fuck? Yeah. And I, I don't know because very seldom does he do this poor a job of doing anything yeah you know usually he brings something right even in the, the brief clips in but Abbott Lucas Costello meet Frankenstein where he's in the makeup he brings more to that than he does here in the whole that's film funny. yeah yeah that's true that's funny it's, but yeah he does so I don't, I it's just, like one second yeah it's very <laughs> one shot or two shots I think a very yeah. very brief but he brings more to that moment yeah I guess maybe Kenton said you know to, to do this I, maybe I, he maybe he just was not into it. I mean, well, we know that. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, so I, I assume that weighs on a person. You sure. know, trying to get up to get up the. But it's um, it's you get up the yeah, but you, it's your job. You're getting a lot of money to do this. Yep. <laughs> I do shit that I don't like to do sometimes, but I still do well, it. Do yeah, it, do I think, well, it to the best I, of my ability. And that's and your because the, I have a work ethic. His he was just getting started in this industry, and and then they started. No. Well, no, he'd been in it for quite a while. He hadn't of. had the had the. Uh, uh, I, I the feel clout? like by the time you get to forty eight, where you're saying he's bringing more to the two seconds, he's uh, he's a little more grateful. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, but then yeah, he's yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, he had been he had been let go several years, you know, in '46, along with just about everybody else. Yeah, when exactly. the studio changed over again. All right. Um, um, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Any more questions, wise ass? Uh, what, uh, the sound can only mean one thing. It's time for got any pre questions? <laughs> Do I have to change whatever. the graphic now? Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't figure out what needs to happen. Uh, let's see here. This is uh, part three. Part tra tre. Uh, and this is minute 13 so if you're new to the podcast uh, Patreons we have a Patreon account this this segment is brought to you by (laughs) patreon.com slash Frankenstein minute where you can go and join and support the podcast at whatever amount you want but if you you give us at least two dollars a month you're considered a friend if you click something you become a friend, and then you get and, uh, every episode. We all know that friend good. Friend good, fire bad, uh, fire, fire not, not good. Not good. Yeah, 
So no good. we should have a fire one where you don't give anything. <laughs> um, well, that's we allowed our else. Patreons to uh, <laughs> this this month. We're doing a special trial run. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. We're we're having people answer uh, uh, submit comments in advance. So people who had a chance, if you were on Patreon, to actually see the minute in question and make comments on it. And this is the result. This is what we've got. All right. Sean says. The part of the monster will be played by the bassoon. You know, the music is a little intrusive here. Uh, the bassoon I actually like. I like the bassoon, but it's, it's got when that they cut to her pl- kicking the ball. That it <laughs> and that, for whatever reason, much. that music is really ingrained in my cerebral cortex. Yeah. And they must have used it elsewhere besides this film, which they always did. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's almost like. It's 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 almost like it comes from Bride, okay, but in a far worse way. Yeah. I mean, this is we're talking about trying, Goose Girls theme, right? Isn't that what it's called? Basically, yeah. Okay. No, I don't know what it's called. I have on, no idea. On the, on the CD, but uh, actually, right below that, Mike responds, "Yeah, I like the score more than Bill and Tom seem to, but that monster theme is real Mickey Mousey." That oboe, yeah. yeah. I don't I actually don't mind that. <laughs> I, that's the part I like. <laughs> yeah. The part I don't like is is what Dino refers to as the Superman yeah, that aspect was of it. Yeah. Uh, we don't get a whole lot more of that moving Thankfully, forward. Yeah. I think that was just trying to uh, inject some inject some excitement. Ex- excitement where there really wasn't a lot. Yeah, was. um, but yeah, I mean overall it's a good score. Yeah. You know, Salter yeah. did his job. I think I remember saying something to that effect that yeah. uh, if I was him I'd be proud of it too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good score. All right. Uh, that one That's another one down. Let's see if this one will make any sense out of context. So I think I clicked on well, we something. We've got to pad this one out. We're only at about 20 minutes. So. Okay, here we go. This is a, this is, that's all for the new comments. Okay. So should I play the music again? And Wait a minute, did I skip the... one? I might have skipped a comment Uh-oh. by mistake. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. See, people paid to leave these comments. Well, so. I'm going to go back to that one then. Let me see if I can find it. We really need to pad this one out, huh? Well, that's okay, short. Well, then I'll yeah, make sure to do it. So this was my... Oh, maybe it was short. this one. It was this one. So, okay, one more time. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, that's right. Mike also said in about this minute, she pronounces giant correctly. Yes. Yes, so there you go. Yes. That was a, that, that was a, a long way to go to get back to that, but I did it. <laughs> He's a great big man. Oh, He's God. Very cool down. All right. I don't remember what minute this was. lot to unpack here. Mike Herman says, Important episode as it introduces Lon Chaney Jr. So was that... That was... It must have been when four? he's... Five. Busted out of the sulfur, yeah. He is my favorite horror star. There's no denying that he wasn't a performer with great range. But if you needed that tragic blue-collar character, there wasn't anyone better in the business. Yeah. Tom... Re- well, okay. Go ahead. No, I agree. Yeah. Tom reminded me just how impressive his filmography is, especially outside horror. He gives best supporting actor caliber performances in Of Mice and Men and High Noon. Yep. All right. And the monkeys. And the yeah. Why is nobody bringing up the monkeys one? Uh, that was weird because I remember seeing it as a kid and like, wait a minute, yeah, that's Lon Chaney Jr. He's a big movie star. He should have gotten, and he's just, uh, I don't even know that the character has a name. Yeah, he's just a true. Dude. Yeah, you know, he's in there. Well, with, and they like, did a Mike monster Mazurki one. They something. did a Frankenstein. Yeah, they did, they did several. They did a thing, and they didn't have. They didn't him have in him that. in that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's weird. But it was that point in his career where things were, you know, he's having trouble with lines, and uh, so you get a lot of roles where he doesn't say anything. Yeah. Um, although right around the time he did Hillbillies in a Haunted House with uh, Rathbone and Carradine, and he has lines in that, and he's okay. pretty, you know, it's it's a shit film, no way around it. But he's he does a good job, but it's fun to see them sort of spoofing their image, and, and they're having I gotta fun. I got to see this one. I haven't seen it. They do a riff tracks one, and if you see it, that, okay. that would be the way I would really? recommend it. Really? Recommend that? Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. I probably could find that. Oh, you um, could easily, yeah. Yeah, all right. And Sean, to that same minute, says, all this debate on what to call the monster versus Frankenstein this time around. How about calling him Junior for this season? Hey. Kills two birds with one stone, and it's kind of funny. And also, it, it, it also uh, predates uh, Wilbur Gray calling him Junior. That's the next thing he says. Also, yeah. it's what Lou Costello will call yeah. him down the line. Yeah. Yeah. So right. it's on the list uh, of things we might call him. I like it. I don't want to like make it. any promises because no, we I, might change our mind. I like it, though. I, All right. I, I Do like we have it. any more? Do we have more time? Cause oh, yeah. We got plenty of time. Someone responded to our episode entitled, Wait, That Isn't Boris Karloff, on YouTube. It's the same one, then. Okay. He responded to that by saying, his name is Bill something. 
I can't see it too well. E I don't Evenson. care really. Yeah, Evenson might be. Uh, starts with a G, so Givenson. Givenson. Uh, he says Bella Lugosi, and he spells it Bella, B E L L A. Okay. Bella Lugosi is dead. Boris Karloff is not feeling well. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. No, All right. I think it's funny because because uh, that's the sense of humor you have. Yes. All right. Sign up on Patreon and well, yeah, Boris Karloff. Hey, you know what? Oh, go ahead. Well, Karloff at this point was a big Broadway star and didn't give a shit about this stuff anymore. Yeah, I'm done with that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I throw in the thank you very much part though. He certainly never well, denigrated. He was it. never. He was never. Yeah, he, he might have been privately, but never said a discouraging word mm -hmm. publicly that I am aware of. You know, he was always the gentleman. Yep, not like the guy in uh, Targets who was like, that was fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't remember By if he Byron said it quite Orlock. like that. <laughs> Byron Orlock. Or wait. Yeah. Is it Byron? Yeah. Okay. Or is it Baron? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 or is it uh, you've Larry? Seen, you've seen the film, right? Yeah, no, I don't remember it. I saw it in the theater like last year. Oh, yeah, I was I was sick. I was going to go. I yeah, had tickets right. and everything, and yep. yeah, I was sick. Okay, that's it. That's it for this week. Did All we right. hit the, the, yeah, we're, the sweet we're, spot? You were good enough. Okay, good I'll, enough. I'll just put in some music to fill out the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing us up to news time is the Ghost of Frankenstein theme. Okay. All right. Is that 13? Yes. Yes. <laughs>